Hey there, Diviers, Brody Dorland here, and we are very excited to announce the launch of our 3.0 content interface. A lot has changed in this new interface, so I thought it'd be a good idea to walk through some of the changes and help you get your content interface configured to your liking. Okay, the first big change I'd like to call out is that the standard default view now displays all content that you have loaded into your Divi account. So regardless of the status, everything is there. But wait, there's only 10 things on my screen. Well, down at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice the pagination settings, which you can adjust to see up to 250 items at a time. The next thing you'll notice is that we've incorporated the same filtering and saved views functionality that you've been using with our 3.0 calendar interface. So just like the calendar, you'll be able to create unique filtered views to help you drill down and create lists of specific projects. For example, let's go ahead and create a saved view for all content projects coming up in the next 30 days. I'll set my date filters, click apply to apply the filter, click the add new view button, and then give it a name. Now I have a next 30 days project list and I can even specify that this will be my default or favorite view that I want to load every time I come back to the content interface. Let's go ahead and add one more. If you've been using Divi for a while, you probably remember how we previously had a view that was called Archive, which showed all completed content projects. Let's adjust our filters to recreate that content archive list. I'll adjust the status filter to only show published content and adjust the dates filter to all dates. Now I can add a new view and give it a name. So within my Views dropdown, I now have several saved lists to choose from. Okay, the last thing I'll show you, which technically hasn't changed, is how you can adjust the columns that are displayed in these views. By clicking Edit Columns over here on the right, you can specify which columns you want to be displayed, and then click Apply. You can then reorder your columns to create an ideal view with all the data you need to see. Okay, that's probably enough for now. Feel free to play with the new interface, and we'd love to hear your feedback. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like these videos, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and happy divvying.